Thank you so much for having me back on the show. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Since <laughs> I, I saw you, you uh, got a Golden Globe nomination. I saw you at the Golden Globes. Uh, how was that? Oh, my God. Um, it was a surreal experience. You know, I... Last time I was here on the show talking about 13 Reasons Why, and then less than a year later I was nominated for a Golden Globe, and it was such a, it was such a full circle moment for me because I remember after season one, like I was at home in Australia with my mum watching the Golden Globes, huge fans of The Crown, and we were watching Claire Foy win, and then this year I was nominated alongside her and sitting next to her at the table. Oh yeah, how fun is that? Yeah, That's... also, oh sorry, no, I was just going to say also, you know, it was, such a, it was such a poignant night as well with the Time's Up movement. It's something I think that's so inspiring and I was so grateful to be a part of, you know. And I just remember, like, as soon as the nominations came out, you know, Reese reached out to me and let me know what they were doing with the movement. And Reese Witherspoon, yeah. Yeah, Reese Witherspoon. And, and the night before, um, there was sort of like a meeting of people who were, you know, taking part in the movement just to go over talking points and stuff like that. And up until that point, I'd been pretty cool and chill. <laughs> And then I walked into a room with probably 20 of Hollywood's most decorated, talented actresses. There was Meryl, Emma Stone, Laura Dern, Tracy Ellis Ross, Tessa Thompson. Michelle Williams is smiling at me. Reese is like, hey! And I was just sitting there. And I remember I stood up afterwards and I was talking to Brie, Brie Larson and, and Reese. And I just started crying and sobbing <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> So. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Dude, that's, you're so likable. I, 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 I feel like crying now. I just because yeah, I love this. I love, I love that you're enjoying all this stuff. Uh, yeah. Thirteen reasons why coming back for a second season. Uh, uh, spoiler alert: if you guys don't know the first season, just maybe cover your ears. Um, you, you died in the first season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I was uh, uh, what, uh, so. So what's season two going to be like? Um, uh, you, you have to wait and see. Uh, we, <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. We, we, just finished, um, we just finished season two last year, and, I, you know, it was, a, it was a very different season to season one for a lot of reasons, but um, I'm super grateful that I was asked back because I think that there was there's so much left to tell, and I'm really glad we got to focus on some important storylines for other characters. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Hannah, you know, the Hannah in season one, she's gone but you know she's still there this season but i would prepare audiences to see a different a different hannah this season uh let's talk about your movie uh love simon congratulations yeah. on uh, doing you. this movie it's giant it's big thank you uh the co-star i i mean I, I know that guy the the play simon nick robinson yeah what is I mean, how do i know him you think oh i mean he's just an all-round good looking pleasant guy that's uh, how i know him. yeah that, <laughs> that's that's i was wondering where that's what it was yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, well, he must have been in some film I just saw or something like that, but I don't know. I just, I recognize the kid. He was fantastic. Yeah. No, he was, he was great to work with, um, and I feel like he does such a great job as Simon, you know. Um, Simon, it's, it's based off the novel by Becky Albertelli, which I loved. Um, it's about a 17-year-old boy in high school who lives this seemingly perfect life, uh, except for the fact that he's secretly gay and, and struggling to come out to his friends and family. And he falls in love with a classmate online, which is when things come to a head where a classmate threatens to out him. Um, and I play, I play his best friend, Leah, and it's directed by Greg Berlanti, who is such a legend and I think just the perfect person to tell this story. You know, not only does he understand it, but just how generous he is and, and talented and how much experience he has in the industry. Uh, and it's got a great soundtrack, too. I know Jack Antonoff produced it. Oh, brilliant, yeah. We love it. He's going to be on the show tomorrow, I believe. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, it'll be fun. Um, yeah. Would you like to set this clip up? Do you know what it is? Oh, yeah. I think, I think this, clip is, uh, this clip is me taking Simon home after he gets drunk at, at a party for the first time. There you go. <laughs> uh, here's Catherine Langford in Love, Simon. Take a look. It was really fun. Was it? Yeah. Aces. Huh. 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 Uh, well, thanks for letting me stay over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Been staying over ten years. It's, um, you don't have to thank us. Oh. Yeah, thanks. Stop. Catherine Langford, everybody! Uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.